It's the most wonderful time of the year. No, it's not December. It's not Christmas. It's spot prawn season, Jody. We are on the boat here just at Fisherman's Wharf in False Creek. We're going to make our way out into the water and uh, maybe introduce ourselves to some of those delicious little spot prawns. <laughs> Yummy. Thank you so much, Don. Yeah, not no longer dockside. We're actually out on the water. We've got Frank and Steve here. How long have you guys been working together? Oh, far too long. Far too long. <laughs> 30 years, probably? 140 years, yeah. <laughs> so tis the season. Okay, so it's spot prawn mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. How long is the season, actually? It's a, it's a short one. Six to seven weeks. It's one of the probably the best managed fisheries in the entire world. That's why it's uh, so popular. But it's, uh, even when you fish for 50 days straight, it does get long after a while. Excellent. Yeah. Now, we are heading out to the water. We're going to keep it pretty vague. We're going to call it House Sound. There is, it must be somewhat competitive amongst the fishermen. Who told you we're going to House Sound? That's, <laughs> oh. that's misinformation. Uh -oh. We're actually going out to the ocean. Okay. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to catch some prawns and, uh, yeah, All see right. what happens. So, um, let's talk a little bit about this boat. Yeah. Yeah. It's called the Organic Ocean Number no. One. And this is, uh, it's a high speed prawn boat. It's made to leave in the morning. We go out, we pull the gear fast, we get back in uh, by 1 o'clock so we can have the prawns delivered to the chefs and the public by about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And we should point out, too, that, yeah, you are delivering to the chefs, not only here locally, you've got uh, people in Montreal, I guess, they get them as we, well? We have them in Montreal, Ottawa, uh, fresh prawns arrived in Toronto this morning. It's turned into a to a frenzy across this country, a spot prawn frenzy. It's amazing, and it's... It's because they're yummy. They're sustainable. They taste good. It's a good story. And hopefully we catch some today so you can see that. I hope we do catch some today. Yeah. By the way, Jody, again, we are on the boat all morning long. Uh, I'm in for a good time and maybe even might try a little spot prawn or oh, two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll be trying. That's yeah. Yeah. It's the best spot prawn sashimi you could ever have, Don Chibé, right out of the water, right on the boat. I haven't spotted any prawns yet, but we are on the boat, and what a beautiful morning. Hey, some people actually got to work for a living, well, including the fishermen we're with this morning. Coming up next, Jody, a very important part of the job. We are filling up the live hatch. That's coming up at about quarter after seven. We sh Don't make me sing. Don't make me sing on a, on a fishing boat. Yes, uh, this is the office for the morning. Hey, Pete, give us a little wave. I know you got people watching this morning as well. Yes, we are out on the water, and you know, I've been on a boat, maybe a yacht, the view is the same. I tell you, you got a great office. Yeah, it's beautiful out here, except we don't have champagne and caviar today. Sorry. But I tell you what, we're going to have some uh, spot prawn sashimi, right? Exactly. Absolutely. Okay, so now we are doing what, guys? We are, we just dropped the hose. Peter's dropped the hose in the water that goes down about 100 feet, and we're picking up nice, clean glacier water. This is, yeah, because we keep them alive all day, we're trying to create an environment that the prawns live in, in the ocean. So like Steve said, we want to get very clean water, cold and salty. Excellent. Now, when people, when you actually are done your fishing for the day and we make our way back, yep. uh, people can actually get them as fresh as you possibly can get them. They are live and jumping, yes. <laughs> I mean, it's, it kind of freaks some people out, but that's the whole idea of fishing live prawns. Yeah. Exactly. We will be doing that coming up next, Jody. Uh, we're going to see if we can catch some prawns. And I don't care that we don't have champagne this morning. And you know I love me my champagne. Yeah. This is a pretty nice office this morning, guys. <laughs> I would miss this little guy. I will hug him and kiss him and call him George. This is a spot prawn. Yeah, we are here again on the water. And Jody, coming up next, we are going to be pulling up the traps here for our spot prawn season. Sail away with me, honey. Put my heart in your hand. Sail away. bringing up those spot prawns and maybe that is the first thing you would do if you came back from space so having a spot oh, prawn oh, about yeah, yeah, yeah. as fresh as you can you, do you guys get excited Ooh. like this every time when we you pull these up? We love it every day. That's what we love. That is awesome. Okay so and this is about as fresh as it gets right Steve? This is pretty fresh Don yeah and uh, don't you have one there a little bit I do. fresh breakfast? I have one right there here so this yeah. is what you do you just go ahead and get it ready. Oh, what do you think? That is fabulous. It's fisherman's breakfast every day we have. Food, yeah. So hey, Frank. So you've been pulling up the traps here. What do I do with this now? Can I just throw this back? That goes back in. Some fish will. Uh, that'll be his breakfast too. Nice, good stuff. What's your favorite way to eat prawns? Just the way you did there, Don. Just nice and fresh like that, right out of the ocean. Excellent. Beautiful. And so, and from the fishing process, this is what happens here. What, what about bait? What do you use for bait? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> I, so in other words, it's a trade secret. It's a trade secret. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's uh, it's bait. 
Yeah, it's me. Yeah, it is. Now, how many how many prawns do you think you'll get up in a, in a day? Well, again, that's a fisherman's secret. We never say what we catch, but uh, you see the size of our hatch. I have. If we can fill that up even halfway, we'll be happy guys, happy fishermen. And we know that the season is about, what, 45 days or so, right? Uh, 45 to 50 days, and we affectionately call it on uh, a par- prawn entry. Prawn entry. Prawn entry sentence, yes. <laughs> we got on parole about uh, July 1st, <laughs> so for 10 months. Then we're back out here again. Excellent. Well, we're going to continue to uh, do what we're doing here. And these look exceptionally big. Is this pretty normal size? Yeah, this is a nice big one and this one is that's called a medium size that's an extra large size excellent well they all look good to me uh, we'll be on the boat here all morning long jody we'll see you again coming up at about 805 with our celebrations all right sounds good yeah we are celebrating here because boy we got lots of spot prawns what are you guys doing right now uh, we're putting a little love in them down we're gonna give them a nice rinse get them nice and clean and then we're gonna throw them down there into the in prawn heaven. Excellent. Happy heaven. Happy heaven. And we are spot prawn fishing all morning long. Coming up just after 8.30, uh, Jody, we are going to be actually setting the traps as we try to get our sea legs. I think Lindsay's, by the way, hats off to Lindsay, who's doing really, really well on that camera. Isn't she doing a great job yes. staying still? Mm. Prawn sashimi. How's my hair? How's my hair? It doesn't really matter, does it, Frank? That's perfect fisherman hair. <laughs> perfect fisherman hair. We've been having a great time all morning doing some spot prawn fishing. What are we doing right now, Frank? Well, right now, we're putting the traps back in the ocean, and hopefully they're going to land where the prawns live. And how important is it that you use traps as opposed to nets? Oh, it's it's absolutely important. Uh, the traps do no damage to the ocean floors, and anything that we catch in there that is bycatch, as you guys seen, it comes up alive, we put it back in the ocean, it swims away happily. And we've seen that a bit this morning with fish and starfish and crabs. Uh, let's talk, how do you know where to put the traps? Well, we like to think we have experience. A lot of it is luck, but uh, prawns like to live in rock piles. So we try to find on our depth sounders where the, uh, the rock piles are, deep ocean water. So hopefully by the time we shoot them out like this, they will land where the, where the prawns are, we hope. Now, Steve is driving the boat right now, but both of you guys grew up in, in homes where your, your father were fishermen. Yeah, right. How have you seen the industry change since you were here? Yeah, it used to be like the Wild West out there years ago. When I first started as a kid, there were thousands of boats, uh, no rules, no regulations. It had no future. So, you know, things have changed a lot in the last 20 years, and it's all for the good. It really is for the next generation to be out here fishing. And we've gotten uh, quite a few. We're not going to give away your trade secrets, but the fact that we've seen so many prawns yeah. and the fact, the size of them, what does that say about what's going on well, in the ocean right now? Well, it definitely, with these regulations like this, you know, we're catching l- less fish. Um, it's more monitored, and that's a good thing. I've seen the ocean conditions improve the last few years, and I think, uh, you know, we're on a good path here. We really are. We really are on a good path, and again, it is the sp- spot a prawn a season. Thank you much, so much to Steve and to Frank and Pete. Good job on the TV. I know a lot of people are going to be watching you today. Uh, really great experience out here, Jody, and enjoy those spot prawns with a good conscience knowing that uh, it's all being sustainable out here.